What's going on guys? Welcome to a new Decred bi-weekly news update. It's time to put your summer vacation on a small hold to learn what has been going on in the Decred ecosystem. So let's jump in. Today we'll start with Decred researcher Checkmate in his most recent research piece, Decred on-chain realized cap MVRV ratio in gradient oscillators. This paper describes the mechanics which influence the price and trend of the realized cap in the market value to realized value ratio. Checkmate says the realized cap is a useful metric for valuing crypto asset networks as it focuses on the active supply that is economically meaningful at the time. While the formulation is borrowed from Bitcoin, direct application to the Decred network is misleading due to fundamental differences in on-chain transaction behavior. I'll leave a link for Checkmate's Medium.com account in the video description so you can read his piece for yourself and follow Checkmate. Checkmate has taken the initiative to start pushing for more community-centered grassroots marketing efforts. He began by creating a thread on Reddit questioning the community on how we can get more eyes on Decred. He lists some ideas like a propaganda art competition, working closer with the Monero community, and more on-chain video sessions. Community reaction appeared to be positive, with many users submitting their opinion on how to improve marketing. Checkmate also started Forward Thinking Friday and Skepticism Sunday. The intention is that every Friday, a post goes up on Reddit to pull ideas and start looking at where new features are desired, discuss potential future innovation, and identify gaps in the market that Decred can fill. Decred Skepticism Sunday is about identifying weaknesses and forming solutions to improve the Decred protocol. Speaking of community growth, let's take a look at some recent artistic creations shared with the community. Decred supporter Crypto has created an awesome piece of art, a Decred dragon wearing armor. The idea that Decred is like a lizard wearing armor comes from Bitcoin analyst Murad on his Decred in Death podcast interview from last year. You can think of Decred as like a lizard, but with very like strong armor. So Decred is secure, but at the same time, it's also more adaptable because um, Decred's governance uh, and the various facets of the Decred's Politea system, uh, Decred's treasury management, Decred's on-chain voting, it generally allows the system to evolve faster. It's a legendary podcast. I'd highly recommend listening to the full interview. Decred supporter Agonfab recently had some framed Decred and Monero art sold to a lucky buyer. Agonfab creates and actively sells his beautiful cryptocurrency artwork to the community, and he does accept Decred as a payment method. You can follow him on Twitter at Agonfab1. The Decred Mobile Wallet version 1.5.0 has been released for Android and iOS by the Radar Group. This update includes a completely redesigned user interface, support for multiple wallets, and watch-only wallets, and a delete seed backup confirmation to get up and running quickly. The software is available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Upgrading is super smooth and only took me about one minute. The Decred Discord server has been restructured so that Discord users now have their own rooms to converse among themselves. The idea here is that Discord will act as a more casual chat experience compared to what exists on Matrix. Some rooms remain bridge, such as support, proposals, and trading, while the rest are just read-only. You can join the platform of your choice by following the links in the video description. There was also lots of other media and content generated by the community. Maza of LifeForEarth.com wrote up a general overview of Decred in Japanese. Comparing Decred to Bitcoin, he says Bitcoin's lack of governance is the driving force behind it. In other words, he thinks lack of governance is a feature, not a bug. I believe people who have worked in the Bitcoin ecosystem would disagree with that statement. Being able to have proper governance and make changes and upgrades in a decentralized and timely manner is one of Decred's greatest strengths and a reason for being created. Regardless, it's always good to see more interest from the Asian cryptocurrency community, especially Japan. There were two new podcasts released. First is from Rough Consensus, Episode 7, The Rigged Game. One risk of, you know, owning uh, government-issued money is that what if the government falls, right? Like, what if the government actually fails? Um, you know, I mean, I, obviously it sounds like a bit of an extreme, but, you know, given the extreme times, you never know when, you know, the house of cards can just come tumbling down, right? So, you know, owning non, you know, tying your time, effort, and energy into monies that are not, tied to things that are dependent on one institution, you know, it actually makes a ton of sense, right? You know, Decred's are, you know, our darling coin. We love Decred. You know, when Decred gets to that point where you have enough people that it's like, listen, you, you come around these parts, start fucking with our stuff, you know, th there's going to be, there's going to be an issue because there's enough people with enough money that you can push back against, you know, these larger institutional players. We also had Checkmate, Aiken Sawyer, and Mr. Bulbon to discuss the DCR use case and growth. My view is that it, it um, first and foremost, it is a sound monetary asset, right? Otherwise, why why hold it, right? That's the that's my core idea about why it exists. It's certainly, what brought me in in the first place. However, in terms of you know all the rest of uh, what it can achieve, it really is infinite because of the way it's it's designed, because of the way it's able to adapt. 
And you know, really, the narrative is in the the eye of the beholder. That's that that kind of I think what the uh, a real big differentiator is for Decred. That I'm not entirely convinced that Bitcoin can can uh, fight on that same playing field longer term. It has a block reward. It has this ability to incentivize uh, creative contributions, and whether that's code or whether that's a music video, whether that's like turning up and organizing an event, I think naturally these things over time will become more and more emblematic of the communities they represent. The use of the machinery that Decred has built to demonstrate its value and to demonstrate its, um, its utility is the best possible way to market a product. I think we're still in the infrastructure building phase, but you know, as time progresses, I think we'll transition more and more into how do people now build other solutions, other front ends on top of our infrastructure and create new products. Really special episode. It's great to see people discussing their varying visions for Decred. Decred Society released a new video on the divisive nature of forks and how Decred aims to solve this problem. Now, one of the reasons I particularly don't like ChainSpits is because I believe in this 21 million. And if 21 million is realized, it, it kind of, you can't have chain splits because the, the minute you have a chain split, you have double the amount of coins. This is why I like Decred so much because they're literally the only project that thought, ah, we better build governance in, governance in from the start. And now all these other people are saying, all these other projects are saying, hey, actual fact, that's a really good idea. And they're, they're really struggling with it. It's actually not the easiest thing to implement. Um, and there's a, there's a few contentious issues with implementing it halfway through where people say, no, I don't want this. Decred Australia held another virtual meetup once again, featuring Decred analyst Checkmate to present his work and answer questions from the community. As we've gone along this bear market, the amount of sell pressure has reduced and reduced and reduced. And we're getting this massive momentum divergence. Or it's, it, this is, to me, this feels like a, a reversal signal combined with really, really significant on-chain volume. The only thing holding Decred back, in my honest opinion, is people coming up with creative ways to shout about it. Um, the more people know about this thing and the more customers that these exchanges see um, really, really do want to be dollar cost averaging, want to be investing, understand the tech, want to get involved. That's a huge amount of people sitting on the sidelines just waiting for that you know, liquidity, quote unquote. Um, more people come out with creative ways to just shout about it is all this thing needs because once you get that level of attention um the fundamentals speak for themselves right and you know we're seeing that the the core holders of dcr that exist at the moment they're hardcore man they've they've dealt with severe financial challenges um you know, they're not selling it ten dollars they're not selling it twenty dollars right these people are here for the long haul kozel has released his extended guide on setting up a decred full node and enabling tor it goes a bit more in depth compared to my guide. For instance, it shows the users how to verify binaries and explains what exactly is going on with each command the user enters. All in all, it's another great resource for anyone looking to set up and run a Decred full node. Decred developer Marco Piraboom, who is finishing up work on decentralizing the treasury, created some excitement when he tweeted out what the community should look forward to what he has in store for his next proposal. Remember, Decred has a self-funding treasury that allows for developers to continue building and upgrading the protocol indefinitely. It remains to be seen what unique additions will be implemented into Decred in the future. Decred was in a few media articles secured by Mond PR. An article from Cointelegraph featured Decred's project lead, J.K. Kampayat, talking about the troubles with on-chain scaling. He says there's enough demand for on-chain Bitcoin transactions during peak demand times to completely fill blocks and drive fee rates up substantially. He also says, I believe that mainstream adoption of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as stores of value can occur successfully if the bulk of the transactions occur off-chain. Decred devs have been actively developing the Lightning Network as a method to scale Decred with off-chain transactions. An additional article from Cointelegraph was published featuring Jake's comments on how central bank digital currencies can facilitate crony capitalism. The idea is that if central banks were to do CBDCs, they would be able to play favorites and issue credit to whom they wanted without the need for intermediaries. Jake says if a central bank really wanted to do this, the amount of opacity they can create for themselves while at the same time strip mining everybody else's privacy is ridiculous so that they could do pretty much whatever they want. The article goes on to say that China's motivation for the issuance of the digital yuan is to exude even greater control over the nation's financial system. 
There is one new proposal up for discussion on Decred's proposal platform, Politea. The content production for Decred in Russian by Ivan Decred Fan was recently published. This proposal seeks a budget of $2,000 per month to fund the translation and creation of content in the Russian language, lasting for four months. Ivan also requests to be compensated for one month of previous work, so the total asking is $10,000. Ivan has a YouTube channel titled Decred RU, where you can view the videos he has done and a Medium.com account where you can view his translations of various Decred articles. Ivan says the Russian community for crypto is one of the largest, and that there is a noticeable lack of information on Decred in the Russian language. He believes his work will help educate newcomers and build the Russian Decred community. Ivan says that compensation will go towards better equipment to improve the quality of his work. Ivan's initial proposal a few months ago failed with only 21% approval. It was suggested that he demonstrate his deliverables before submitting a proposal. This is the first time a rejected proposal has been resubmitted after the proposal author took advice from the community. Feel free to leave a question or comment by going to proposals.decred.org and creating an account. Two proposals from the other week finished voting. The Decred Bug Bounty Program Phase 3 proposal passed with 98% approval. Over 13,000 votes were cast, which means there was a 32% voter turnout. The TV marketing for Decred proposal failed with 8% approval. Nearly 12,000 votes were cast, which means there was a voter turnout of 29%. Thanks for tuning in to this week's bi-weekly news update. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any news. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.